Okay, so here are three big stories for today. Actually, it might be four. Okay, here's what happened. Uh, Ukrainian children from Ukraine's Russian-held regions arrive in Belarus despite global outrage. This is Thursday, December 28th, 2023. That's the day. It's still happening. Belarusian authoritarian president on Thursday attended a government-organized meeting with children brought from Russian-controlled areas of Ukraine, openly defying an international outrage over his country's involvement in Moscow's deportation of Ukrainian children. President Lukashenko vowed to, quote, embrace these children, bring them into our home, keep them warm, and make their childhood happier. By that, he means to de-Ukrainianize them, to make them good little Russians or Belarusians, but certainly teach them to hate their homeland. This is outrageous, and this is genocide. Story number two. Some 2,691 square kilometers of mine territories in Ukraine surveyed over the year. So in total, they've, they've uh, looked at 2,691 square kilometers surveyed, like heavy duty, make sure there's no mines there. Okay, but what does that mean exactly? Well, if we look at a map of U.S. states and we try to understand exactly like how much that is, that's like something a little bit north of the size of the U.S. Virgin Islands. Where are the U.S. Virgin Islands? Well, it looks like there's Florida. And let's just keep going. Let's move the map over a little bit and keep going and keep going and keep going. There's the U.S. Virgin Islands. So if we time and a half the U.S. Virgin Islands, that's what they have demined. Okay, but what does that mean? So here are landmines in Ukraine. And if we look at it, the air, um, amount of land landmined in Ukraine is about 174,000 square kilometers of Ukrainian territory. What does that mean? Let's go back to this Wikipedia page. And it looks something more like a little bit larger than the state of Florida. Well, again, where's the state of Florida? Let's look at the map and we'll look all the way up here from where we were, that little dot that we were with the U.S. Virgin Islands, and a little bit larger than this landmass is what is landmine. That's absolutely horrific. The last two stories are somewhat more personal. I put this out about reporting from Ukraine. They've been demonetized because YouTube said that they had too many bots there. It doesn't look like that's the case. And if it was the case, how can they control if Russian bots were involved? But it looks like they need to be told to look at why this Spanish channel of reporting, reporting from Ukraine has been demonetized. So if you could help with that effort, I'd really appreciate it. I would personally be grateful on their behalf if you could do that. Second thing, the giving update. This was a giving update yesterday. Our next giving update is still forthcoming. But you have given more than $50,000 in thermal underwear and in drones and in socks and in scissors for the field and for dressings for wounds and for tourniquets to Ukraine aid. And it's going to be going with uh, Greg Terry in just, what is it, th just four days. It's going to be going off to Ukraine. Thank you so much for giving. I'll give you the full update soon enough. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your generosity. And thank you for being the kind of person that cares about Ukraine.